In the first gold medal match of these European championships at 50 kilos, Oksana Levach, the Tokyo Olympian Ukraine in the blue, matched up against one of the best, Maria Stodnik, Azerbaijan, looking for historic European title number 10. I think you'll see the one with so much great experience, four Olympic medals, and then this young contender, she's so hungry, and I think she wants to get it this time. It's going to be a great show for the gold medal. Stodnik made her senior international debut back in 2008. Liebach off the whistle, shot in, but look at the counter by Stodnik. Trying to curl up the leg, gets the takedown, a 2-0 lead. Stodnik so tough from parterre. See the wrist covered underneath. Now squeezing up. Getting the wrench turn and exposes for two. Stodnik up 4 nothing. Let's see if she can turn this high gut into two more. And unable to do so, but that's what Stodnik does so well. She gets you down on the mat. She can end it in a hurry. Yes, and she's continuing, and she's so strong in this position. But also the Ukrainians, like I said yesterday, they are really good in the party position. Doesn't matter if they are attacking or defending. And Oksana knowing her really well and about her great offense technique, so the show continues. Stodnik has had Levach's number the last few meetings. In fact, entering tonight, Stodnik has won four straight over the talented young wrestler from Ukraine, Oksana Levach. Look at the power and explosiveness again by Stodnik. And again, she wants that uppercut wrench, and she gets a turn. One more for historic number 10. Levach trying to barrel down underneath, and does not look like Stodnik is going to be able to get that final turn, so back to the feet. Yeah, you have to get everything that you can get back on the feet, and she did. Stop, doctor. And a doctor has been asked. The nose has been cracked open for Levach, who is trailing 8-0. 58 seconds to go in this opening period. What a career for Maria Stodnik, performing at such a high level. She won her first European championship. Just put this in perspective. She won it back in 2009. The first of nine European titles, followed up a couple of years later in 2011. Then she went on a roll, won six straight. There was nobody better in the continent than Maria Stodnik. She also won in 2021. Two-time world champ, four-time Olympic medalist with an opportunity to be a five-time Olympic medalist. You just don't see this anymore in this day and age. This is going to be... This is so crazy. So many years. And Livac is showing what wrestlers are made of. She doesn't want to take the time off while she's bleeding, and now she's coming back. Doesn't feel any pain. And, and Livac is certainly going to leave it all on the mat. Two whistles, two attacks since the blood timeout. One gets her her first points of the match. Trailing 8-2. Wide offensive arsenal when you look at Levat, so she certainly can rally from deficit. She's not used to being in a position like this. And she's not giving up. I like it a lot. She's not afraid to, to try again. And Had the leg up in the air for a brief moment. Levach, who's really picking up the tempo as we wind down this first period. Stodnik with a couple of takedowns, a couple of turns from the high gut. And after three minutes of wrestling, an 8-2 lead for Maria Stodnik. Wrestling family for the Stodnik. She married... Ukrainian wrestler Andrei Stodnik, her 
sister-in-law, Yana Radigan, competed at the same weight. Demai Maria spent some time off the mat with her family, and ever since she has returned, she has been scoring like this pretty frequently. Yeah, and she took, I think it's not the first time she took the time off. She's mother of two children, and took all these short timeouts, came back, and scored again. So many medals and titles and Olympic medals. After every Olympic game, she get, yeah, or two cycles, she get babies, and then she come back and goes again to the final. This is so impressive. Oksana Liebach showed a little life late in the first period. Let's see if she can get right back onto it. It's a really entertaining wrestler. She's doing so much movement. And I watched her many times in training camps. And really, I call her Speedy Gonzalez. She's so fast. And actually, in basketball, she's never stopped running, running, running. <laughs> She's constantly moving. Look at her circle around the center. Non-stop motor and engine. Straight on double by Stodnik. Lee Batch sprawl back. Always what the slip right. No points awarded. It was Lee Batch who took the, the shot with that offensive try, so they don't punish the offensive wrestler. One of the beautiful things about freestyle. 8-2 lead. Again, it's Levach coming in that time below the knees. Stodnik ably, easily able to push her aside. Oksana Levach had a tough world championships last year in Belgrade. Took ninth. She was one of the favorites coming in. And again... Levach continuing to take chances, knowing that she needs to try to hit something big. Still lots of time. It's difficult for her because Maria Stadnik, she has such a long range. Her arms are really long. She's, she's a big woman in 50 kilo. And Oksana is trying to, to get the offense from the half distance position to prepare with her heavy hands. Step Marie, out she's good. point there by Stodnik. Okay. When you see the young contender, she's not giving up. She's just trying to. And she will do till the whistle blows. Always able to score again. <laughs> okay, you go. Maria, she's so strong in the defense. Straighten her long legs and... Okay, there's 31 seconds remaining. Oksana Levach comes right back at her. Stodnik gets caught reaching, so Levach cuts it a little bit closer, tries to get a lace hooked up down low. Stodnik able to clear a left leg away, so now working on the bar arm possibly. That won't work either. Stodnik keeps that elbow tight. A little bruised, a little bloodied underneath, but this is going to be history for Azerbaijan. And Maria Stodnik has won her 10th European gold medal. What a career it has been. And her legacy.